Look, bro, I'm just about to start dropping some free game because the more I scroll on social media, I realize like how lost and like misguided we are out here. OK, so look, in today's video, bro, we just finna straight up talk about credit. Let's break credit down for what it is in life, bro. You got to be able to look at stuff at face value and be like, it is what it is, bro. Credit is literally a system for people who one don't want to wait until they had a capital or don't have a capital right then and there. OK. People who don't have impulse control, you know what I'm saying? Most of the time, they're going to rely on credit. Think about going to the store and with, with one of your friends or just with somebody that you know. And they be like, dang, bro, I really ain't got no money in my bank account right now. Boom. What they finna use? They finna swipe their credit card. They ain't got no cash on them. You feel what I'm saying? They finna go ahead and swipe a credit card. Why? Because they don't have they don't have it like that. They ain't got the money like that for real up front that they are willing to, to spend on whatever it is that they want. They don't want to wait on whatever they need. Then sometimes with credit, bro, it's sometimes people do need stuff, okay? If there are situations where people actually need something but don't have the capital for it, and they use credit, okay? So credit can bail you out, but you don't want credit to bail you out every single time, okay? Using stuff, it, it add up over time, bro, okay? Do not use credit as a bailout. You want to use it as a tool. For me, for instance, bro, I really don't even need credit. It's not even that many countries in the world, that utilizes a credit system, bro. I think it's only probably like five or six different countries, bro. It's like the United States, Canada, Japan, China, uh, United States, if I ain't saying UK, and it's like somebody uh, like Spain or something, bro. It's not that many countries that actually utilize a credit system. In other countries, bro, if you got the capital, you could get it right then and there, no paperwork. Anytime that you're dealing with credit, bro, you are voluntarily bringing people into your pockets and low-key stressing yourself out. OK, because a lot of the times when people when people teach you about credit, but they like, hey, be sure to pay them on time. Be sure to pay them on time. They don't tell you that you got a 30 day window after the missed due date. So if you got a credit card bill on the 15th of next month, the following month after that, on the 16th, that's when you're going to get the interest fee. You're not going to get you're not going to get the late payment fee. Until the 16th of the following month, bro, because it's outside of 30 days. People don't tell you that. So it's a lot of people who they'll swipe their credit card, be like, dang, bro, I ain't got the money to pay this bill. You ain't, I ain't got the money to pay the bill for real. You see what I'm saying? But it's like, bro, you can give yourself an extra, you know what I'm saying? An extra little time to come up with the funds. Don't stress out about it. OK, now, overall, now, when I had said how credit you bring people into your pockets is because, you know, what I'm saying if you don't pay them credit cards, like folks going to call you. OK, your stuff can go to collections. When your stuff goes to collections, the people that sent your stuff to collections going to call you and the people that collected your debt is going to be calling you. So you got all of these people calling you, bro, about some money that all you had to do was find another way around to find the capital or just wait it out, bro. You feel what I'm saying? You could have found another way. Or you could have waited. Simple as that, bro. And then you got to think about the credit system, bro, the credit bureau. The credit bureau is making bank off of Americans because they have debt they got to pay off. So, of course, they on your head to get your money because they don't get your money, bro. They can't pay their bills. The United States is what? Like $20 trillion in debt? That's credit. The country been using credit and they, they in debt. You feel what I'm saying? And they can't even pay it off. You feel what I'm saying? And people be talking about good debt, bad debt. If you got the bag, it don't even matter, bro. Think about it. Think about this, bro. If you go out and make enough money there's so much money out in circulation in the world right now, bro. If you actually hustled, you buckled down, and you went out and got yourself that abundance of money, you literally would not need credit. You would not need credit. You could use credit, but you wouldn't need it. Why? You got capital. If you got capital, you don't need credit. Simple as that. And then like with me, bro, I don't like middlemen. I don't like anybody in between what I want and me. I want to be able to swipe my debit card or come up with the cash. Boom. Give it to me. I don't want to be signing paperwork. I don't want nobody emailing me. If I want it, I want it right then. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just want it. I don't want all the extra stuff that come with it. All them strings attached and rules and I don't, I don't need all that. I ain't got time for all of it. Okay? So just wait it out, bro. Hustle. Find you a side hustle. You know what I'm saying? Pick up an extra job until, you know what I'm saying, you can collect enough funds to, to invest that into a side hustle. But honestly, bro, this is a free side hustle right here, bro. Pull out your phone, turn it sideways, press record, teach somebody something. That's all you got to do. Education will never go away, bro. It's somebody's first day in this world regardless. Every day you wake up, it's somebody's first day. Nobody in this world knows exactly what you know. 
Nobody. It's impossible for somebody to know exactly what you know. Tit for tat. Nobody. You can podcast. You got voice memos. Upload it. Upload it to YouTube as, a, as an audio clip, bro. Just put it, go on camera. Put, you see what I'm saying, bro? There's so many ways to come up with the capital. But the world is an illusion, bro. But until y'all really wake up and y'all see things for what it is, bro, you have to look at life for what it is. You have to look at credit system for what it is. You got to look at the banking system for what it is. You got to look at investing for what it is. You got to look at money for what it is. You have to be able to look at relationships for what they for what it is, for who they are, bro. You got to be able to just break it down like that, bro. Credit is literally a system for people who are impatient or just don't have it right now. Simple as that. You cannot have it right now for a whole bunch of reasons. You know what I'm saying? But that's how they keep you tied in, bro. Everything is an illusion. If you just hustle, you lock in, bro. You won't need, you really will not need credit. For instance, I run a digital media marketing agency off of this work phone right here, off of Wi-Fi. Anytime, if I want to scale my own business, all I have to do is like build a chat bot or implement another form of artificial intelligence to help me pump out stuff faster. But I do it at a pretty decent pace right now, so I don't even need it. So I can scale my own business by my lonesome with computers and phones. I don't have to go and get a loan for a building or headquarters or like vehicles and crazy stuff like that. One, I don't even have to leave a crib. So why would I go and finance, you know what I'm saying, a seventy, eighty thousand dollar car when I don't I don't need it, bro? You can go on Facebook Marketplace and get you a car for like four, five thousand, bro. Like, do you really need to finance it, bro? You gotta be able to look at stuff for exactly what it is, bro. That's how these people, they keep getting that money, bro. That's one thing about it. Then anytime you finance something, bro, the interest rates, bro, credit card interest rates, like these people be talking about these, these Amex cars, bro. Don't you know you got to work your way up to these gold black cars, bro? You got to work your way up. Bro, when you first start credit, bro, your interest rate finna be 29, 29%, bro. Minimum. You're going to have a 29% interest rate minimum starting out with credit, bro. But y'all too fixated on these American Express cars, bro. There is levels to everything, bro. You have to start from the bottom. But that's what I'm going to start doing, bro. It's just dropping the free game to give you these baby steps, bro. People get on social media and they give you the sauce up here, but they don't break it down for you, bro. I'm going to break it all the way down because everything that I be seeing on social media, bro, I have been there, done that to a certain extent, bro. You know what I'm saying? I ain't been into major investing, like real estate investing, but I mean, I done studied real estate. Like I know what I'm talking about if I was to talk about it. You get what I'm saying? But everything else, when it comes down to life, finances, and stuff like that, bro, I had to hit my head, but I always live by the phrase, each one teach one. So anytime that I learn information, bro, I just regurgitate it on the mic because it's somebody that don't know what I know. It's somebody out there that don't have to go what I went through because I went through it. It's my job to stop other people from doing the dumb stuff. It's always going to be the one person that got to go out there and take the bullet for everybody. You see what I'm saying? But that one person that took the bullet, he ought to have enough sense to be like, okay, let me tell everybody that this is not fun. This is not the way to go. This is how you're supposed to do it. Now, people are going to either take it or leave it. That ain't got nothing to do with me. I'm just doing my job by putting it out here on the platform, bro. It's billions of people who, you know what I'm saying, go across YouTube. Who knows? Hopefully, I help somebody out. You feel what I'm saying? But quit being so fixated about credit and stressing yourself out about this stuff, bro. Even if you got debt and your stuff got sent to collections, bro. Let's say you got 5,000 sent off to collections. You owe, you owe 5,000. Bro, let it go to collections. When them folks call you or you can call them, they're going to send you an email to wherever it go. You call them folks, bro. You pick up the phone. You're going to dial them. And they're going to be like, yeah, you owe like 5,000, woo 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 Soon as you let them say everything they got to say, be like, look, bro, I only got 2,000 for you right now. Like, I can pay you 2,000 right now. Bro, they is not going to turn that down because they need the money. That is how you leverage. That is how you can end up in a sticky situation and you can cover your own ass and get up out of the situation at the same time, bro. Because you can pay somebody two bands even when you owe 5000 They're going to settle for that too. And they're just going to wipe that stuff off of your credit report, bro. They're just going to... Credit can be repaired, bro. People don't even tell other people that, bro. Your credit can be can be repaired. Now, there's a lot of folk out here scamming and getting over on y'all with these courses. But... If you know what you're doing, bro, we got ChatGPT, bro. Tell ChatGPT Chat to write everything down for you and just break everything down for you. It's that easy, bro. It's 2023, bro. But, yeah, I'm through with it.